welcome to the open box review of the Knight's Armament SR-16 by Helios. As we have the Helios SR-16 box here, nice Knight's Armament logo on it. We're going to go ahead and flip it open and see what we got inside. So upon first inspection and on top, we have the SR-16 user manual that has different types of SR-16s that are available to you. Upon opening it up, it has a full breakdown of the gun, including a breakdown all the way down to the hop-up. On the other side, adjustment of hop-up, magazine use, battery use, and all that good stuff. So you have your user manual. Moving on, we have a metal high cap magazine. It does not appear to say how many rounds it holds, but uh, this will definitely be set aside since I do not use high caps. And here we have an old school speed loader, which is quite interesting since it gave us a high cap. Basically, you put your BBs in the tube and push them down into your mag. Then you have your jamming and cleaning rod for your cleaning a barrel and unjamming in case a BB does get jammed. So as we can see, the gun is wrapped in a clear plastic. We're going to go ahead and unwrap it. And then you have the beautiful SR-16 with its SR-16 logos. So let's hop further into this. Going further into this review, we have a orange plastic flash hider, plastic sights at the top of the gun, a solid M-lock rail with a QD sling attachment, a dust cover that exposes hop up at the pull of a charging handle, SR-16 5.56 marks with where the gun was manufactured. Nice solid pistol grip, a spring tensioning release button, and a three positioning stock. On the other side, we have the Stoner Rifle KAC logo, as we saw on the box. A ambidextrous mag release, a non-functioning bolt catch, and your ambidextrous select fire switch. And that is basic overview of the SR-16. So going over how to get to the battery compartment, you simply pull back this lever, pull the stock off the buffer tube, and it exposes your Dean's connector. This gun is surprisingly wired to Dean's right off the back. Simply pull that lever back down and push the stock back on the buffer tube and you have secured the stock back onto the gun. Going over which magazine fits the SR-16, we have the Magpul P-Mag. Upon putting it in, it does not fit the mag well too well. It does not click whatsoever, so unfortunately the P-Mags are a no-go. The g and G metal mid cap. Once putting it in, clicks in. It's nice and stiff in the slot, but overall is a great fit. The K120s by KWA. Putting it in the gun, it does click, but there is a lot of wobble to it. I would not trust it to feed, but overall it does click into the gun and does feed. Moving on to the EPMs. Upon putting it in the gun, nice smooth click, no wobble, very stiff, and overall will feed. So we're going to separate these magazines. We're going to put the P-Mag over to the right here for not too good. The KWA next to the P-Mag for being iffy, and the G&G &G and the EPM right next to each other because those two work great. These two do not. KWA, I would not trust it to feed. The PMAG does not feed at all. So we're going to head out to the Chrono and I'm going to go ahead and grab the EPM mag since it fit the best in my opinion. And I'm going to go ahead and load it up with some Elite Force .25 grand BBs. And with that being said, let's go check out this thing's FPS.
as you guys could see there it was consistent through the 310 to 312 area um, didn't budge much from there it is with 0.25s and most ops require 400 fps with 0.20s which roughly translates to 366 fps with 0.25s so you will be good to go right out of the box for this gun to go to most ops all right guys the kac sr16 mod 2 by helios you guys have seen the open box review you guys have seen what comes in the box you guys have seen the fps overall externally this gun is beautiful even though it has a polymer body the polymer does not feel cheap whatsoever you got a metal m-lock rail on it a nice smooth stock that's comfortable with a great battery compartment wired to deans straight out of the box moving to the internals the aries efcs version 2 gearbox has a quick spring chain system you get a nice crisp trigger pull so when you're pulling you're getting that snap on that trigger um, you can get a programming box that's sold separately for the gearbox so you guys can program it to however you like beyond the gearbox you guys got a rotary hop up unit a tight bore aluminum inner barrel and guys the price $205 for this you can't go wrong this gun is absolutely amazing it's beautiful and I cannot wait to use it out on the field so signing off here I want to say thank you for tuning in to this review uh, this is gonna be my new format moving forward I kind of like the way this was laid out having that chrono in there kind of gives the video the oomph and gives you guys more info as well and that's what I really want to go for is giving you guys all that info that you guys need and guys again Thank you for tuning in, and until next time, Rook out.